Today we're going to take a look at the K-Tuner layout and how you can set up everything from scratch. When you first get everything set up with K-Tuner, you'll notice that you have a blank slate to start with, allowing you to set things up exactly how you want them. Let's start with the tab layout. You can actually add different items to each individual tab, and if you go into the list, you can rename it to suit your needs. Let's use this tab for graphing. You can also create or delete new tabs to suit your needs. You can see how this will come in handy to set up different editing tools on each tab. So let's begin adding items to our layout. To do this, all you have to do is right click in the tab layout. Let's add an analog gauge. You can drag any item that you add to the screen to set it wherever you want it to be laid out. These can also be resized by dragging while holding shift. Right clicking on the gauge will allow you to set the type for the values to be displayed. And if you want to remove an item, simply choose Delete when you right click. We add digital gauges and set them up in the exact same manner. You can also add lights for inputs and outputs. When we're finished with one tab, we can then switch to another and begin again to set up exactly what you need to see for that tab. We're going to set this tab up for graph review. You can add multiple graphs and resize them to your liking right alongside your digital gauges or lights. Much like the other items, to set this up, all you have to do is right click and add the items that you want to see on each graph. I like to set up my layouts with their own fuel and ignition tabs. Let's go ahead and add a tuning map now, and then we'll set that tuning map to fuel. Expand the map using the shift and drag, and then you'll see these tabs on the right hand side which allow you to go between the table and a 2D or 3D view. You can switch between 2D and 3D with a right click. On a tuning map, you can switch between cam angles for those maps that have cam angle applicable, and you can also switch between high and low cam. Now let's go ahead and set up our tables for the ignition tab. I'm going to do something different on this tab. I'm actually going to add a second tuning map for cam angle. This will allow you to view, trace, and even change both of these maps on the same layout. To load a data log, simply hit the Load Data Log button on the toolbar and select your file. Now let's go back to the Graphing tab so we can review our data log. As you would expect, simply click and drag to go through time in the data log. So now I'm going to unpause the data log and let you see what real-time playback looks like.
If you've followed the quick start guide to install your drivers and get the software up and running, then all you have to do is simply plug your unit in and the software will automatically find it. The first time you plug it in will require an internet connection to contact the server and look up your unit. Once the software has registered your unit, you will see connected as a status in the lower left hand corner. And if this is your first time connecting the unit to the ECU, it will also ask you to register your VIN. Now let's take a look at the tabs for our parameters. Each tab and item is specifically labeled for the option that it holds. And once you've set up the parameters for your base map, let's disable the immobilizer for instance, you can go ahead and hit the up arrow to upload base code and reflash that to your ECU. The ECU will erase and then it'll start giving you the reflash status. I'm going to skip ahead to the end. Here it'll tell you to key off and key back on to reset your ECU. Once you do that, any real-time settings will be uploaded, and then it'll go to logging and tell you if you have live settings available. Moving around the parameters, you can see that the settings with the green box next to them are live, and the ones with the red box are not. You can even enable real-time tuning maps on the sensor options page. The maps and settings that are set to live can be updated in real time with no lag. Just make sure that you disable real time tuning maps before you upload your final tune. So that's the demo of the K Tuner layout. Thanks for watching, and we'll have more videos soon.